Welcome to the show presented by VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. I have an amazing show for you. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now. I'm going to bring back my agenda. And what's on my agenda? What is on my agenda? Go ahead and call me a hater. That's fine. I can wear that with a badge of honor when it comes to this. But college sports, basketball and football, to be exact, or to be more specific, I should say, just go ahead and get rid of ranking system. Just go ahead and get rid of it because it's only there to pump up and hype up upsets when we know there really aren't any upsets when it comes to how the game plays out when it comes to being overrated or underrated sure i know what you're thinking but what about powerhouses in football competing against cupcakes that does exist that does exist and i'm going to address that you're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer you're just gonna have to sit back and chill and rest a little bit but in basketball come on now it's almost as if they're taking a playbook out of the experts the professional experts soothsayers wind blowers blowers of the wind genie masters you name it anything i've given you multiple choices you pick you choose basically they're like the weatherman it's 60 percent but not a 60 percent chance it's a 60 percent chance to cover in that area if that makes sense you with me if it's not you just keep it moving and just go ahead and play along and just nod your head like you understand or just throw your hands up in the air like you don't care or better yet how about this there's a button in front of you i'm bringing back the button it's a button in front of you not the red button uh-uh this not it, it this doesn't cause for that but there's a button just go ahead and press it a couple of times that's that i believe button i'm bringing it back and it's black by the way all black all black everything it's all black the the I believe button. So just go ahead and hit it a few times. Go ahead and tap it. And you can tap it to a rhythm or you can tap it just to tap it. But it's that I believe button when it comes to the ranking system being like professional experts, experts who know who's going to win. Who says this team is going to win this team is going to lose and here are the reasons why they have the same information as fanatics have they have the same chance of getting it right as you do the fan the innocent bystander the person who couldn't care less for sports who tries to avoid sport but it's all in your face like every single day how can you escape? How can you run? I'm running. I want to. I don't want sport in my life. But every time I turn on the TV, it's there. Every time I go outside, it's there. Every time I go to the store, it's there. Every time I hop in the G-Ride, it's there. You have to isolate yourself from the world, period. Or take that trip to Mars. Go ahead and take that trip to Mars. Mars one, that's still, that's still a thing. Is it? Serious question. Serious question. We have an absolute same amount, same stat, same reason or percentage, percentile of getting it right than the so-called experts. Now, insiders, I have a little bit more respect for an insider because an insider means they know some people who know some people who know some people or just know that person in general and can give you some inside information. So insiders, hey, I, I respect you. I see what you do. You do a good job. Keep doing what you're doing. 
keep doing what you do experts come on now everyone's an expert everyone's an expert like everyone has a podcast everyone has a social media everyone has a television everyone has air to breathe expert but when it comes to football yeah there's a little bit more nuance in it i understand the reasoning behind it in football i'll be willing to take some steps back i'll be willing to take some steps back but this definitely correlates to or this for how can i put this the beginning of the season the first couple of weeks when you really don't know but you think you know then midweek then you know that's for over ranking that's for over hyping because some teams regardless of whether they good or regardless of how the roster looks they always get ranked higher than other teams always get ranked higher than other teams make that make sense we are judging on past performance past behavior we don't want to pay people like that looking at you professional sports looking at you but that doesn't mean i don't disagree that doesn't mean that i don't disagree and so allowing some weeks to go by before you start ranking football makes better sense because there is a difference between good teams great teams and cupcakes there are not that many great teams there is maybe one or two that can just steamroll through the competition and everybody but with this new age world that we live in with everything being on tv with players can go and get paid wait a minute get exposure players can go and get exposure just about any place because of the tv deals then it's the transfer portal they can't or they won't tolerate just riding the bench to ride the bench and waiting their turn when they can go and play somewhere else and get the exposure they needed to make it to the next level instead of working for free who wants to work for free sure you can get paid for your likeness but that ain't you paying that's not you paying and that's the argument that i will have that's the argument that i will uh defend that is the argument that i'm ready to have and i've been having it for over a decade now it's just that everybody else is catching up and their receipts their historical documents go find them they're there readily available if you really do care to see the receipts or if you really are about this life or you really are with the student athlete and i say student athlete as a joke because we know what it really and truly means yes we do yes we do and with college basketball there really isn't a dominant team it any given night a team can show up or not show up it doesn't matter if they are cupcakes or not it doesn't matter if they are stacked with number ones and that's first round draft picks going to the next level or not they still can take the l they still can hold the l's they still cannot win it all they can still get bounced out why is that because the ncaa tournament now you get that right you got that right just the hottest team the hottest team the most consistent team the team that is playing more efficient around that time of year is the one who's going more likely is going to win it ain't the best team every year it is not like football where and that's pro football where any given sunday and one game you're out situation because it comes down to that and also comes down to the health of the team the health of the squad and all of that the football ncaa football with the tournament still does it really help is it really about figuring out who's the best 
who is the best team or is it really about making those dollar dollar bills because if it's making those dollar dollar bills i'm okay i'm good with that but just share those dollar dollar bills with everybody the pie is big enough the pie is big enough and if it's not make another one make another one it's not like peeps and people won't watch i mean i like watching grass grow so i can understand when people want to watch bad football and that's not the football you play with your feet peeps that's not the football you play with your feet that's the faux football it's the fake football it's the one you play with your hands it's the one you throw things with that one make another pie make another pie make it bigger or if you're really about that life how about just taking some of the major conferences and just taking their champion their league champion and just having a tournament of the champions and call it champions league champions league or something to that nature you're welcome you're welcome but for the most part the ranking system when it comes to basketball the ranking system when it comes to football it's flawed basketball probably doesn't need a rank period a rank to begin with just let them play just say hey this team put up the stats throw some else out there that might be considered a ranking but it's not a ranking but football you definitely don't need one and if you do need one if it is such a big important thing wait till a month into the season but if you do what i suggest and just take the champions of said conference and maybe just maybe have one opening or one open bid for teams that's not in the conference not in the major conference or two for teams that's not in a major conference and that's in a a lower level conference that's not one of the powerhouses have two bids for, the, for for those at largest if you will and everyone else the the winner and then have a tournament based on that then you would need the ranking system but it takes away the upset factor it takes away the the, the feeling of a number one going down you still know if your team is boo boo you still know if your team is feces and if your feces team beat a good team that ain't gonna stop you from running on the field that ain't gonna stop you from feeling some kind of weight that ain't gonna stop you from feeling good that ain't gonna stop you from tearing down the goal post that ain't gonna stop you from almost getting knocked out because you done ran into the wrong person and the wrong person is that person that telling you to step back but you keep stepping forward hoping and wishing that your piece behind you gonna continue to keep running alongside of you nah it's not gonna stop any of that so not having a ranking system wouldn't kill the college joy wouldn't destroy the college joy for the records and the record books it may put a dent in that but what fanatic is all concerned about the records and the record books it's about the feeling it's about the emotion it's about all of that at the time at that giving time and not going back and looking and reading and understanding history it's the moment it is the moment Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.